Good morning, everyone. It is Monday, April 10th, so that means it's another episode of Monarch Monday. If you're new here, my name is Emily. I am a citizen scientist and amateur gardener based in South Central Wisconsin, and the main thing I do on TikTok is raise monarchs for release and share them with all of you. Over the past couple weeks, we've been zeroing in on some location specifics on milkweed, so we're going to do that again today with New England. So of course this means we should take a quick look at the ecoregions and I've looked at a lot of maps and it seems like it's mostly comprised of northeastern highlands, a northeastern coastal zone, and then the Acadian plains and hills which I just visited this past September of 2022 when I visited Acadia National Park. And just a reminder, when I look up a zip code on Monarch Watch, that doesn't necessarily mean you're limited to that milkweed, but um, this is what partnering nurseries are providing for your area and it gives a good starting point. So let's look, I plugged in a zip code for a Boston, Massachusetts suburb that I just picked at random. Okay, so these are two varieties here. We looked at this one last week. This is Asepia syriaca, which is common milkweed that grows where I am in the Midwest. And it is my favorite to plant just because it's plentiful and the monarchs seem to prefer it. And then also Asepia incarnata, which is swamp milkweed, another good choice. The monarchs also really seem to love it. They've quite favored it in my yard as well. So if you are looking for any milkweed in New England, these are a great option for you and the milkweed market for Monarch Watch has them available. If you live in the so if you live on this area, feel free to leave a comment on what milkweed you grow or other native plants for that matter. And if you've been following the series and you want me to look up what milkweed is available through Monarch Watch in your area, feel free to message me or leave your location in the comments. I'm happy to do that for you individually, even though I'm doing this kind of by region anyways. I'm happy to do it for individual zip codes. So um, that's it for this week. Um, let me know if you have any questions and I'll see you in the next video.